videos, subscribe to the channel activating the bell, and comment what you thought, give like and share. Face each other, bow. All our fights on our show are our babies. Fighting positions. What? Everybody has like their shining moment. It is the craziest thing I've ever done. Oh. Ah. Ah. With the fight scenes, you feel that excitement. Ah. Oh. And it's a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. The stunt choreographers in the show are incredible. Hito Koda, Janelle Kerfman. They're actually husband and wife, and they're a great team. They train us when we're there. I saw your little demo at Valley Fest. You guys can put on a show. Can you actually fight? That sounds like a challenge. I like a challenge. Hayden, Josh, and I have not taken any karate in our lives. So they are the karate translators. They teach a different form of martial arts to the different characters based on what dojo they're in. Each character has their own sort of style of fighting, and that's all because of Hiro and Janelle. And they work us really, really, really hard <laughs> to try and get everything down perfectly. They train us so hard because they want us to do all the stunts as much as we possibly can. They're absolutely incredible. Season one, you got to see Hiro actually as the uh, the lead ref at the tournament. Winner! And Janelle, you see as a stunt performer on the show. She's Tori's stunt double. Most of the kids on the show didn't know a lick of karate, and now they get frustrated when we have to use a stunt double. They want to do their own thing, and it's they have such inspiring teachers in Hiro and Janelle. It was really cool being able to work with them because in the first season I had seen them working with the other actors and I was like, oh, I want to do that. And so into the second season I finally got to do that and they are honestly just an amazing team. They make the show. They're so good at getting you prepared and making you look good for those big scenes where you just have to like do all these crazy kicks. <laughs> honestly, I couldn't do it without them. Finally, a worthy opponent. My favorite is the fight against Jacob, who plays Hawk uh, in the woods. That one was the one that I that we really tried to make so awesome. The woods fight was amazing. We knew a Hawk versus Miguel fight late in the season would just carry a lot of stakes. It would carry a lot of weight. So it's one of these fights that you get to do where it's born out of a game, but it goes a little bit too far. And just the the fact that they're throwing each other with trees and they're and they're you know the tumbling and then everything in the woods for real um, was just amazing to shoot, amazing to see come together. Is that all you got? Our stunt doubles will have shot a video of themselves doing it, and they're kind of like showing us like step by step what we're doing. And then once we learn all the moves, we'll run through it all the way time like really slow. First. We do that a couple times until we can work it up to speed. Most of the time, there usually be one or two very technical things that our stunt doubles may have to do. There's this role a Sholo stunt double does with Chris, my stunt double. That's just this really technical thing you could get really hurt on if you don't know what you're doing. It looks so awesome, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. That's all I've got. I loved the mall fight because of the way that it coordinated with our balance board technique. We worked on that kata for ever. Drilling it over and over again so that literally when our backs were turned, we still knew what the other person was doing. It was just like we were learning the real wheel technique. Also, I got to get on a wire that day and come flying in with this crazy kick and like throw down Khalil's character. It was so cool. Get back. You guys need to back off. But really nothing uh, tops the, the school fight at the end of season two. That was a whole different animal for everybody on set. And the stunt team was phenomenal. The actors gave their all. That high school fight is just a tour de force. We knew with season two, we had to find a way to have a big fighting climax and we didn't want to do a tournament again. We knew we wanted this all out brawl, like a West Side Story, but present day between Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do. For that scene specifically, we went to that school a weekend beforehand and we were there for four to six hours just working that whole fight scene, Hito brought his camera with like a little Ronin stabilizer and was just like running through as if he was a steady cam. And we were working out all the beach, watching it over, picking out parts that we could work better on. We had ridden into that fight a one -er shot, which was involved like four or five characters fighting. And Hiro was like, I can add a bunch of other characters fighting. Let's make this even bigger. Oh, it is on! To make that really work, you had to care about the micro fights within the macro fight. Just to make it feel that this 
rivalry that started between two guys in the 80s has trickled down now to the present day. It was definitely at least 30 people that were fighting, and it's amazing that nobody messed up. We didn't cut, we didn't break. It was just one long shot, which is super epic. Which was insane. We did it like six times. It's 83 seconds long. You just have to follow the camera. There's so many moving parts. It's pretty hard to notice, but there's a lot of like stunt double switches in that one take. I had to change out with my stunt double because she has to do this somersault roll with Mary. And the fact that the camera turns, I run out, she runs in, gets back, they do the move. It felt like live theater. So I had to come in and, and change with her and come up and just have this look and inside I'm panicking, but it all worked out. All these things that went into that, like that whole experience, I think it was like after we finished that, it was, it was, it was bonding. As soon as we finally got it, they said cut, we got it, and everyone just had a bunch of fun and started yelling. It's fun to see like grown men just freaking out that we got it. And for Hito and Janelle to come up with that, it was absolutely incredible. When we write a fight, we are really writing it from a story perspective. Bring it. We try to tell that story on the page in terms of the beats and the organization, and then we give that to Hito and Janelle. <laughs> And without them, the show would not be even close to what it is. 